Next, I'm going to talk about KS. This is the Carpal Strong synthesizer. Typically, this algorithm is associated with plucked string sounds. However, I've modified it uh, such that it can be used for much more than that. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to go to the KS parameters. So, the fastest way to do that is to press triangle plus left trigger and right trigger. And that pops up the, uh, the menu where you can uh, choose whether you want to uh, modify the generated envelope for the current selected track. So I'm going to select the generator by pushing the uh, D-pad to the right. And now we have all the parameters for the Carpal Strong Synthesizer. In the middle of all these parameters is Freak. And, and this is used for setting the frequency of the output. Uh, one unique characteristic of the Carpal Strong Synthesizer is that pitch helps determine the total sustain time of the generator. So low pitch sounds uh, last longer than high pitched ones. So if I uh, bring the pitch lower by holding triangle and push the analog pad down, here has a, has a long uh, sustain. But then high pitch sounds have a much shorter, uh, shorter uh, sustain to them. So this is a normal behavior for, uh, for KS and is inherent to the way that Carpal Strong works. Uh, the decay of the KS generator is independent of the output envelope. So then the next uh, four parameters uh, should uh, all look familiar to you uh, if you've seen the tutorial on controlling uh, frequency warping and also uh, pitch bending. Uh, X mult and end offset are used for creating positive and negative pitch bends and uh, warp and warp uh, wavetable uh, apply a random LFO to the frequency of the, uh, the generator. So uh, I can't really explain the top four parameters without talking a bit about how Carpal Strong works. The basic idea is that sounds are generated by continually reading and filtering an array of random values. This filtering is done in an iterative fashion on consecutive values in the array. The pitch of KS is set by the length of the random number array. Long buffers lead to low pitch notes, and short buffers lead to high pitch notes. Every time the Carpal Strong synthesizer is re-triggered, the buffer is refilled with random noise. The uh, first three parameters in KS are probabilities that weigh whether one operation or another will occur. They can vary from 0 to 1, with 0 meaning that something never happens, 0 0.5 meaning there's a 50% chance of it happening, and 1.0 meaning that the other option always happens. The first probabilistic parameter in KS is called filtprob. So I'm going to select filtprob. Uh, it determines the probability that the noise buffer is filtered or if the next sample is just read directly from this buffer. If filtprob is 1.0, this means the data is always filtered and it acts just like a typical Carpal Strong generator. If it's 0, 0.0, then Carpal Strong generator never filters uh, its data and it just reads random values from a fixed buffer. Uh, however, since the buffer is of a fixed length and the data is constant, uh, it still has a pitched sound to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring felt prob down to zero by holding triangle and pushing the uh, analog pad down. So this is just playing random noise and it's never being filtered. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this value a little bit. And you can hear that uh, it kind of sounds like a mixture between the uh, between the random noise and a couple strong synthesizer. And the higher I make this value, the more it sounds like couple strong. So I'm going to bring this back up to one. Uh, the next parameter is called AS prob one. Uh, this sets whether or not the output of the filtering operation is negated or not. If AS prob 1 is 1.0, the output is left as it is, and if it's 0.0, .0 the output is always negated. Uh, so uh, if I change this value from 1.0 to 0, 0.0, the pitch doesn't change, but the timbre of the output changes. So if I set it to some value in between, you end up with uh, something with a, with a totally different sound that uh, the 
silent place for a very short period of time. If I, if I lower the frequency, you might be able to hear a little bit better. And it ends up sounding like a, sort of a pitched noise sort of sound. So again, if I bring this up to one, we can hear. That's Carpal Strong playing at a frequency of F uh, sharp. If I bring it down to a lower value, uh, it ends up sounding like a kind of a low-pitched noise. So the third parameter is called uh, AS prob 2. And uh, well, first of all, I'm going to set uh, this back to one. Uh, AS prob 2 uh, determines the type of filter that is applied to the samples in the noise buffer. If it's 1.0, then a low-pass filter is used on the samples. And this is the most common way the couple strong algorithms are programmed. However, if AS prob 2 is 0, 0.0, then the noise samples are sent through a high-pass filter instead. So I'm going to set this to 0, 0.0. And again, uh, this changes the output to be sort of, uh, sort of a, a noisy sort of sound. Uh, so this can be used um, as the basis of a hi-hat or a snare drum if you um, set the rest of the parameters properly. So uh, generally speaking, the, um, if, you, if you set this value between 0, 0.0 and 1.0, the sound of the generator gets deeper and harder as it approaches 1.0. And this is because the filter is favoring uh, low pass versus high pass. So if I set it to something like 0 0.8, the noise is deeper. If I make it very close to 1, but not quite 1, then you get something pretty close to the original chaos sound, but with a little bit of noise on top of it. So the uh, fourth value is called AVFAC, and this controls the gain of the filter used uh, on the noise in the carpal strong data buffer. So if you're using carpal strong to generate plug string sounds, this value should probably be close to 0 0.5. If it's much lower than 0 0.5, uh, the plug string sounds will be very short, and if it's much greater than 0 0.5, the uh, pitch tones saturate and turn into square waves very quickly. So I'm going to set ASPROB2 back to 1. And now, if I make this a very a low value, you can hear that it's still pitched, but very short. And if I make it a large value, you end up with a, a sound that doesn't sound like a plug string anymore. It sounds like, I don't know, an accordion or something like that. Um, but the other way you can use um, AFAC is that if you have uh, the ASPROB 1 or 2 value set between 0 and 1, uh, you can use AFAC, bring that above 0 0.5 in order to create a longer and harder uh, noise sound. So if I set ASPROB to something like 0 0.5, and then I bring AFAC up to say like, So now you have a sort of a pitched noise um, that lasts longer than if the average factor was around 0 0.5. So, uh, so the Carpal Strong Generator is a pretty unique instrument within PSP Seek. Uh, because it has a number of probabilistic controls and also works off of a random buffer of data, the output from trigger to trigger point uh, can vary a fair amount. This is good that it gives each hit its own sound, but it can also uh, uh, be a little tricky to use because the sound won't always be constant every time the track is re-triggered. Uh, 